Hello and welcome to Sarovsa's classes. Today we are discussing the solution of the ISI paper uh, that was conducted today. This question talks about uh, for a positive in integer n, the equation x square equals n plus y square where x and y are integers does not have a solution if and only if. So x square is equal to n minus y square means x square minus y square equal to n. So x plus y into x minus y equal to n. Now there are three possibilities. Case 1, x is odd, y is odd. So that means both x plus y as well as x minus y will be even. That means x plus y will be of the form 2m, x minus y will be of the form 2m uh, or maybe 2m and 2p. So that means x plus y into x minus y will, will become 4mp equal to n. So n has to be divisible by 4. Case 2 if x is odd and y is even, then x plus y is odd and x minus y is also odd. So that means x plus y would be of the form 2m plus 1, x minus y would be of the form 2p plus 1. So that means n would be odd. Then case 3, if x is uh, even and y is even, then obviously x plus y is and x minus y are both even. So even in that case, x plus y would be of the form 2m and x minus, would be, uh, minus y would be 2p. So this would be 4mp, therefore 4 will be a factor of n. So that means if n is an even number but not divisible by 4, that case is not possible. If n has to be an even number which, which happens in case 1 and case 3, then in both cases n has to be divisible by 4. So therefore option B is not possible. So it will not have a solution if n is an even number but not divisible by 4. The next question says that P is a prime number and two numbers A and B are defined in terms of P where A is P cube plus P square plus P plus 11 and p is equal to p square plus 1. Now since p is prime, so clearly if p is equal to 2, then b is odd and a is also odd. But if p is any other prime number other than 2, that means p has to be odd, then b will become even and A will become even. So that means the only case where A and B are both odd would be when P is equal to 2. Now we just calculate the values of uh, P, A and B and the GCD of A and B. So if P is 2, A is uh, B is 5 and A is 25. So we can actually write A as P into P square plus 1 plus P square plus 1 plus 10 or P square plus 1 into P plus 1 plus 10 or B into P plus 1 
plus 10. So this will make the calculation easier. So if P is 3, then B becomes 10 and A becomes 10 into 4, 40 plus 10, 50. If P is 5, if uh, yeah, P is 5, then P will be 5 square plus 1, 26 and A would be 26 into 6 plus 10 which would be 156 plus 10 that is 166 and if uh, P is 7 B would be 50 and A would be uh, 7 plus 1 8 into 50 which is 400 plus 10 which is 410 and it will go on like this. So that means the GCD in the first case is 5, in the second case it is 10, in the third case it is 2, in the fourth case it is 10 again. So that means the GCD would be either of 2, 5 and 10. The next question is, consider all 2 by 2 matrices whose entries are distinct and taken from the set 1, 2, 3, 4. Then the sum of the determinants of all such entry, uh, all such matrices is what? Now, if you, if I uh, take this in general, so if I have 4 distinct numbers A, B, C, D, then the determinant of this would be A, D minus BC. But if I interchange the diagonals, that means if I make uh, this as BA, B, sorry, BC and AD, I just swap the diagonals, then it becomes BC minus AD. Now if I add these two up, this comes to 0. So that means for any two pairs, if I just swap the diagonals, it becomes 0. So, if I go with all the possible combinations like 1, 2, 3, 4, and the corresponding swap would be uh, 2, 3, uh, 2, 3, 1, 4. So, this would give me, uh, this plus this would give me 0. And similarly, I can do 1, 3, uh, 2, 4 plus swapping the diagonals, I will get 3, 2, 1, 4. This will give me 0. So eventually, if I take all the possible combinations and add them up, the total sum will be 0. 